we used to be very successful in in some of the industries in in Singapore and 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 in in China. We were one of the largest pig farmer in Singapore um, to the extent that we almost could affect the price of pork. That was at its peak, but at that particular time, we also were the most fragile in sense of um, pollution production, and we were then be told by the government that we have to stop because we were, um, there were new residential areas being brought up um, in the vicinity. So being very well, um, being very successful has its offsides. So we learned our lesson and when we came over to China to, to develop and expand, we make sure that whatever we do, we, we develop in a holistic way, um, not just being successful within a particular area, but also success in um, other um, other industries, so that we could get a good combination of, of portfolios, diverse and also able to be uh, resilient against the um, economy, against the, um, the, the 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 environment, and also with the pool of talents that is available at one particular time. So, so a very good example of um, being deeply integrated um, of course the portfolio for the whole group um, is diverse from ranging from retailing to resort hospitality to golf to design and constructions but let's take one project for example um, the island that we're on at the moment sun island it's itself 1.6 square kilometer um, just within this tiny island that we have we packed in most of the industries that, that we have experienced in so primarily, golf is the backbone um, in terms of um, the, the, the space that it takes out on the island. But we also have hospitality in the form of resort, real estate in, in the form of the villas that we have sold, and also a spa and other corporate trainings that we do on the island. So um, during a period of one year, for example, um, golf will be right now um, at its peak where um, the golfers will be out and about, um, but during winter time, when the conditions is not that favorable for the sport, um, spa, for example, would be um, more popular. And also, we have restaurants and also corporate trainings that works well at the end of the year, which is winter season. So different industries comes to the fore at different parts of the year, and this brings us um, the idea that um, using the analogy from agriculture, uh, monoculture um, wouldn't work in that sense. If we are solely on golf, um, we would suffer during winter time. And this way we can also multitask our employees and that they get different trainings all over, engaging them and giving them better career prospects at the same time. So from, from, from what we have learned, the lesson that we have learned um, back in Singapore, we understand that success ought to have a different definition. So when we came over to China, um, this is what we've explored and diversified. The, the, the strength that we've got from different industries uh, more than compensate the, the, the speed or the depth that we get from, from one industry. So perhaps we might develop slower um, with the um, similar um, companies but, um, delivering the same products outside, but we are more resilient. And this goes back to how we f first started talking about why resilience sometimes in a, in a developing um, economy like the one that we are in right now in China, um, resilience is stronger than strength.